Hello. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, hello, it's Jeremy Parrish, and this is Gintendo, my friendos. I am revisiting Castlevania Symphony of the Night, because last time it was a failure. Well, uh, not last time. Uh, yeah, I guess it was last time. <sighs> I don't know. I'm very tired. I'm jet-lagged. I've been in Europe for the past week. I have no idea what's happening. Uh, so let's start. There we go. Hi, I'm Jeremy Parrish, and this is Gintendo. I think I mentioned that. So let me do a proper introduction. Uh, first of all, you're not allowed to be here unless you have voted. That's right, it's very important to vote today. So please go do that. Um, let's see, this is Jin. There we go. Alright, so this is Castlevania's Symphony of the Night for Sega Saturn, or more properly, Dracula X Gecka no Nocturne, and this is a kind of crappy version of Symphony of the Night. It's, it's still Symphony of the Night, but it has some issues. But the one thing that it does have over and... <laughs> audio sounds good, but kind of tired. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, what I was saying was, uh, this game allows you to pick from three different characters right from the start. You can do the standard Alucard game, but you can also play as Richter, who you have to beat the game to be able to play as in Symphony Night for PlayStation, but you can also play as Maria, who does not exist as a playable character on PlayStation. And she is what makes this version of Dracula X interesting. So we're going to play as Maria, and I did look up her moves this time. Uh, I, a lot of this is going to be stuff that you may have seen in a previous stream, but the audio there was terrible. And this time it looks like my audio quality is pretty good. It's holding up. So uh, this will be the proper playthrough that God intended. So Maria is basically... Um, a teenage ninja girl. She's cool. Look at that. She can just rocket jump just like Richter. So I just powered up my life a little bit. That's cool. Yeah, so I guess the time for Castlevania is a little bit over. Boom! There we go. Look at that. Guardian knuckle right in the face. Uh, it's no longer Halloween, or Halloween season, it's Thanksgiving season now. But because this, uh, this a previous attempt did not pan out, uh, I am do taking a mulligan. And then after this, we will move on to things on stream that are not Castlevania. Although, the kids do seem to like Castlevania. Uh, the Castlevania retrospectives I've posted over the past few weeks have uh, done like twice the numbers of my other videos. So, clearly there's some crazy mania for Castlevania happening. Okay, this is kind of boring. Uh, I'm just, like, poking my way through. And that's a shame. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, Maria, like I said, she's just an NPC in the PlayStation version. Uh, but here she is playable, and that's pretty cool. She's different than in Rondo of Blood. And she's also different than the PSP version of Symphony of the Night that you may have seen. Um, I can't remember, is she playable in this or the remake? I think just the remake. But anyway, I just can't go that way. Uh, I apologize if I'm a little incoherent today. I was on an airplane for a long time yesterday. And uh, it's uh, approximately 10 p.m. at night. 10 p.m. for me right now, because I'm still sort of on European time. My body, my brain, if I sound hoarse, that's just because uh, sometimes my voice does that. It's really great when you make a living with a, your voice, and you can't count on it. So as you may notice, the uh, music here is like a weird sort of techno remix of Vampire Killer. Or beginning. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's some original music in here, and 
if you picked up the Mondo News, uh, or Mondo Records, um, Symphony of the Night soundtrack, uh, the unique Saturn music is included on that. And if you think that's cool, you're welcome, because I was partly responsible for that. I was in contact with the producer of the record a couple of years ago, and he asked for advice on uh, this and the Rondo of Blood uh, soundtracks, and I said, be sure to include the Saturn music. And he said, huh? And I said, yes, there was music for Saturn that you should track down if it actually exists in Konami's archive, and they're cool with that. And lo and behold, two years later, it does show up on the records. So I feel like I did a small good deed for video game music, and that makes me happy. Um, I don't think any of the music that's unique to Saturn is particularly great, but it's there, and it's cool to have the option as like bonus content. I like that. So as you can see, Maria does not have the RPG inventory system. When you pause, you just get a little thing that says pause. Um, she's not like Alucard, she's like Richter. So when you get uh, life ups or heart ups, those just increase your health bar or your magic meter in a very sort of invisible way. So she's a more straightforward character and you don't have to uh, do the shenanigans with the holy glasses or whatever. You can just uh, go straight to the final boss, which in this game is Shaft. And that is, you know, to be expected. So let's look over at the stream chat as we enter this new mu new area. Let's see. Um, Lorenzo... Zebo says, any chance of an SNK collection stream soon? I was actually thinking about doing one of those later this week, as a matter of fact. Um, Alistair B says, this OST feels very Sega CD to me. That's actually correct. Uh, it does feel very Sega CD. EQ with FC714 says, hey, is it true that Jeremy Parrish is the one that coined the phrase Metroidvania? And that is a lie. Do not believe people on the internet who tell you that I coined that phrase, because they are liars. They're the kind of people that you want to vote out of Congress right now. Terrible, horrible, hateful liars. Do not vote for those people. Oh! Maria took a hit. However, Maria does have... Let's see if I can do that. There we go. She has the ability to self-heal. Is that what I'm doing? No, I'm blasting fire. Okay. Yeah, whoa, that uses up a lot of her magic. And that was kind of a waste on a red skeleton. I guess I should have paid more attention to the uh, special maneuvers in this game. A save point already? My goodness. Oh wow, the uh, stream count is pretty high. So with 128 people watching right now, let me please remind you that if you live in the U.S. and you are of voting age, you should go out and vote. Do it for justice and democracy and uh, the dream of getting rid of racists. Please. For the love of God. Um, so, as you may know... Well, stupid skeleton. This is a Gintendo stream, and that means there is gin here. It's a little early in the day for that, but remember, I'm on European time. So in my brain, it's 10 p.m. That means it's time to have a nightcap and go to sleep. So I will try not to go to sleep on the stream, but I will have a nightcap. And uh, right now I'm drinking... Well, I haven't actually had any yet. Uh, there we go. Lightning gun. That's kind of useless. Let's try that instead. There we go, yeah! Nice. Uh, so, as I was saying, I'm drinking Gibson's Gin, which is something I had never heard of, and is apparently made in England, but mostly sold in continental Europe. So I was in France last week, and saw it and said, I wonder if that is any good. And I looked it up, and everyone said, yes, it's actually quite good. So... I'm about to try it, and hopefully I did not waste my money, although it was like seven bucks because it's a really small bottle. But we'll find out as soon as I get to a point where I can, oh, pick up a beverage. Now, 
how do I break this down there with Maria? I guess like that? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, alright, so she can do a downward attack by a jump kick. That's awesome. Alright, way to go, Maria. So as you may have noticed, Maria is kind of like a ninja in this game. She's way more agile than Richter, who's got that kind of Belmont heft to him, whereas she's a little more nimble and doesn't feel quite so weighty. And also she, like, does kicks. Yeah. So a joke I made in the previous uh, Castlevania stream is, uh, I said, it was lost, it was very sad, it was a funny joke. I said, how do you solve a problem like Maria? You ninja kick it. But you couldn't hear it because my audio was glitched. Very tragic. Alright, so let's see... People... are being weird about politics, but I guess that's uh, to be given. Let's see... Oh, H2 Ocean asks, did my hosts in uh, in France try what was incredibly strong uh, American gin by European standards? One of the things that I discovered in uh, Europe, I guess I, I kind of knew this, but I didn't really realize it until I went over there, is that they tend to bottle their liquors at a more, at a, like a lower alcohol by volume uh, level, it's more watered down than we do in the US and in, uh, I guess, like the UK and Japan and other places that have liquor. So I brought over a bottle of high proof gin to give as a gift to our hosts. And they were very excited about that until they read the, uh, the proof on it, which was, I think, um, 102 proof. Most, most gin is 90 proof. This was a little higher. It's not quite Navy strength, but still high. And uh, after that, they started making jokes about being drunk and saying, Oh, American gin. And they did try it, and uh, I think they got kind of drunk on it, which I bear no responsibility for that. Uh, let's see, people are in the stream chat talking about... This, the uh, PlayStation 4 collection that includes the PlayStation version of this game, but not not the Saturn version, and there's reasons you don't want to play the Saturn version. But anyway, it's time for me to try some gin. We're a quarter of an hour in, and I haven't tasted one yet. And that gin is okay. Probably not one I would pick out of a police lineup for like, but for like seven bucks for a bottle. Not bad. I don't feel like I'm about to go blind from it or anything. No, I don't want that. Actually, maybe I do. I kind of feel like this is going to be a quick and dirty battle. Yeah, that was that was over in a hurry. So we're just kind of overpowered here at the beginning. I think the game does get a lot more difficult later on. Uh, but for the moment, she kind of made short work of Slogger and Gaibon. What's up over here, shall we find out? Oh, a loading screen. Yeah, that is... Um, it's definitely one of the things to note about the Saturn version is that it has loading screens. Um, the you know the, the the CD tunnels in the PlayStation version were designed to mask loading, and this still has those, but there's still so much loading that the game continues to load after the CD tunnels, and also you get loading screens in the middle of oh look at that, she's like a ninja. You get a loading screen sometimes in the middle of areas. Uh, I, 
don't know why that is. So supposedly Saturn was a 2D powerhouse. So it really, and it had more RAM than PlayStation. So I don't really understand why it's kind of busted in that regard. Uh, this part down here is boring and I don't want to go there. But sadly, it is busted. It is not a great conversion of Symphony of the Night. It's interesting, but it's not great. Alright, so there are a few um, areas in this game that are unique to the Saturn version. There's one out in the courtyard, and I don't remember what you have to do to be able to open it. And then there's a tunnel that connects uh, portions of the game back to the beginning. And it's full of horrible, strong monsters. And if you go there early in the game, before Maria's built up a little bit of life, you'll probably die. It also has really weird monsters. Some of the new content they put in here, I don't know what they were thinking. The, the aesthetics doesn't don't don't really fit the ooh the overall vibe of Symphony of the Night. This was, I believe, Konami Nagoya were the guys, the folks who did, um, or is it Kobe? I can't remember. I forgot to look at the title screen. But it's not the A-Team. That's what I know. Uh, I, I did share this anecdote on the glitchy, garbled stream before, but I once played this game with Koji Igarashi. He was visiting the 1up.com offices, and we thought it would be really fun to play some of his older games with him and get his live commentary. Which I think was a great idea, uh, but the idea was to play Rondo of Blood with him, and somehow the power adapter for my PC Engine vanished, so we couldn't play Rondo of Blood, and we didn't have a PlayStation version of Symphony Night around. So all we had was a Saturn and a copy of this version of Symphony the Night, uh, which Igarashi, who was the director on Symphony of the Night, did not actually work on himself. This was created sort of without his involvement, and it has a lot of issues, and I don't think he was really happy about it. Um, he's, he's always been kind of chilly to me ever since then. And I, I, I think he resents that I made him play this crappy version of his game. But that wasn't my intention, I wasn't trying to disrespect him, it's just that was all that was there. It's very sad. So, let's see, Maria has a bunch of moves, and that wasn't one of them. Let's see, I think... Uh, that's not one. There we go. Okay, what's this? That's the fireball again. Why is that the only one I can do? There's supposed to be the ability to summon an owl, and restore your life. I keep getting that. And none of those seem to be working for me. Like, I keep doing different commands, but it just comes out as fire. I don't get it. Anyway, Maria's uh, magic spells are, are managed by her magic meter. You can see to the le uh, to the right of the, the magic bar, or the life bar, sorry, geez, on the left side of the screen. And it recharges kind of slowly, and that fire attack really sucks up the juice. So, I gotta wait before I can try anything different. Nothing up there. Oh. That was cool. Nice. So as you can see, a lot of the, the enemy animations, the death animations, have been changed. Uh, like on PlayStation, they have a really cool animation. Here, not so much. Yeah, it's kind of bad. They just sort of, like, deflate and spin into nothing as opposed to falling to pieces and exploding. Oh boy. Oh. 
And a lot of uh, the exploration of this game is really lost in Maria mode, just like in Richter mode, because there are no items to collect, really, uh, besides health pickups. There are no upgrades to acquire, no better armor, no weapons, it's just Maria and her ninja kicks. This is the Deadly Hallway of Death, featuring Chthulhu. And also that Fireball guy. So, or that Iron Ball guy, but I have the ability to charge up my Fireball, and Maria kicks everyone's ass. Yeah, take that Skeleton guy. Come on, there we go. What, what was that? Oh, what? Okay, so there's like enemies who disappear into the ground and you can't see them? I don't remember that happening on PlayStation. It seems kind of cheap. I don't know. What is happening? Come on! What? Really? Folks, I'm calling shenanigans on that one. That seems uncool. But yeah, this this version of Symphony of the Night, not, not the best. Okay, and I think this is where Chthulhu is? Or... Called double in Japanese. Uh, they they messed up his name. You fight a guy who looks like Chithulu later on, but they call him like uh, not Azriel, um, Melchior or something. I don't know. They they screwed up some names. Okay, here is the cursed prison. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, that's great. So I had charged up an attack and then it lost it when I came through. That's uncool. Alright. So this is one of the new areas, and as you can see, there's enemies attacking from all around. And those ghosts look completely idiotic. Like, really corny and weird. Uh, and those fireball guys are a pain. I believe when I played the stream before, I died here, and I think that's gonna happen again. It's just a hunch. Okay, so let's. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. It's super cheap. Alright. Oh, no. Yeah, take that, buddy. Oh, that's right. I got here and I couldn't get back because you have to come from the other direction. Well, I screwed up, folks. I think I would remember this from last time, but last time I was so frazzled by the poor audio quality that I've forgotten everything that happened. Ugh. So I'm not actually a fan of this area. I would even go so far as to say it's not that great. But let's get the heck out of here before, before the ghosts get me. Alright, so I'm in a CD room. Let's see what the people are saying. 
Um, yeah, basically, our uh, people are talking about the quality of the graphics or the lack thereof. Um, oh, someone pointed out that the stopwatch probably would have been useful there, and you're correct. I'm so racist against the stopwatch that I just never pick it up. And that is a that is a personal failing. That's a me problem, not a game problem. Wow, that was pretty rad. I need more of that. Oh, nope. Whoa. I feel like he died more whoa, easily last time. Holy crap. Well, anyway, that about wraps it up for Maria. And once again, you see here that they did not bother to localize the grammatical error in this screen. The Japanese version uh, has a grammatical, grammatical error that you might notice, and they fixed it for the US, but then when this came out again in Japan a year later, they did not fix it. All right. So that was sad, and we're going to jump right back in and play some more from the last save point and go in a different direction. Oh, what? Why did that not save my data? What the hell is up with that? You guys saw me create a, a character named Jin and save, right? All right, well, I'm going to jump into the uh, the previous save file where I had reached the inverted castle. But that's kind of disappointing. All right, so here I am in the inverted chapel of the inverted castle. I almost landed on a jellyfish. That would have been ter terrible. These guys, of course, are directly from Castlevania 3, one of many, many classic Castlevania references in Symphony of the Night. And I guess those panther guys are also supposed to be from uh, the original Castlevania. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Crow Demon battle, except I've already destroyed him. Or maybe that was uh, Medusa. That's right, it was Medusa, and I defeated her, and then I died, and then I had to defeat her again, so then I saved. So I'm sorry that you missed out on watching a Medusa battle here. Oh look, I found a heart down here at the bottom of the top of the chapel. So anyway, if you are just joining in, hello, thanks for coming along and watching my video. I am Jeremy Parrish, badly playing the bad version of Symphony of the Night. It's perfectly, uh, perfectly appropriate. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night for Sega Saturn, and it's not great. It's interesting, but not great. Uh, I'm playing the unique character to the Saturn version, Maria Renard. Whoa, where did that guy come from? That was weird. Uh, Maria, of course, was a playable character in Rondo of Blood, but she was totally different. Here she is, like, crazy ninja girl. Look at that. Whoa, ninja kick. Um, and parts of this game are very, very easy with Maria, and parts of them... Parts of it are very difficult. Like, this part is actually very difficult. I have to get up to the top with those snipers of Alamaric, or whatever they're called. Snipers of Goth. Uh, attacking me. And I can't get through here, period. Maria cannot get through spikes. So this is uh, no 200.6 no 200 completion for this game. Uh, as I've mentioned before, if you are here as an American who is of majority age, you... Oh, 
you should go out and vote today if you haven't already. You're not allowed to watch the stream if you haven't done your duty as a participant in democracy. But to the rest of you, welcome. Uh, thank you for voting, or for living in a country where you are not voting in elections today. And, of course, this is a Gintendo... Oh, no, not those guys again. God dang it, I hate them. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying... Yes, this is Gintendo. So whenever we get to one of these loading screens... I have Gin. Uh-oh. So Mike Sweet says, I'm going to watch the stream and not vote. Get the hell out of here, you communist. Actually, communism is not that bad. Oh, it's this guy again. He's probably gonna kill me. Oh, it's those guys. They're gross. Whoa! Yeah, take that, buddy. Those guys take a lot of uh, damage to destroy. Alright, let's see what a fully charged up Maria can do. That's what she can do. Whoa! Hey, that was not ideal. So, as I mentioned previously, I am drinking Gibson's Gin, which, if you live in Europe, you may have tried. I have never seen it in America. Apparently it's not sold here. I looked around. But I heard it was good, and there was a small bottle that was not very expensive. So I bought it, brought it home, and now I'm drinking it, and it's pretty much just gin. I would not go out of my way to drink it again. But it's here. And it's Gin Tendo, so I gotta keep with the, uh, the brand. I feel like there's not a lot of challenge and, and sport in just destroying mindless zombie legs. But what do I know? Alright, let's blow up some devils. Magic attack actually uses her uh, magic meter, her fireball, whatever. Oh, that was not a good idea. Okay, I thought I could smash through them, but it didn't work out. Nice. All right. So the secret to defeating the devil is, uh, ninja lasers. Who knew? So John Giblin says that these legs, these zombie legs, would destroy me without thinking twice about it. That's true. I don't, I, I didn't say I should have remorse about killing them, just that there's no sport in killing them. There's definitely no sport in killing Medusa heads, but screw those things. Whoa, it's... Malthus. Uh oh, here come a bunch of birds. Oh, I didn't jump over. Them. Oh my goodness. Eat foot, buddy. Yeah, that's right. No, I don't want the Bible. What do you think I am? Sunday school goer. This is not the most interesting area of the castle. Oh, look, I can slide or do a dash attack or something. All right, let's see what's over here. I think this is the chapel again, right? Uh, Ricola one says, Jeremy, using the standard Saturn pad here? That is correct. Is this, um, oh, it is, crap. Oh, it's a boss battle. It's the mummy. 
Here's Tom Cruise. I feel like, um, this might be a little unfair, unbalanced, and not in uh, the game's favor. Just need to zap him with a few uh, ninja lasers, and all good. All right, well, that was uh, not the most challenging battle. Definitely not up to the standards of the one in Castlevania IV. That's actually, like, that's probably the toughest mummy battle in the series, actually. Uh, let's see, Software Agents TV asks, where's Boris Karloff? He has been replaced by Boris Karloffis, the, uh, the Frankenstein salary man. And I would really like to find a uh, save point around here. I feel like that would be good. I've been playing for quite a while with no saves. Let's poke around, see what's up here. Oh, look, nothing. All right, well, that was great. Okay, well, we shall continue our search for a, uh, what do you call it? Save point, that's right. Someone's trying to make me feel bad about taking down the mummy, but no, I don't, I won't, and don't feel bad. Oh no, that laser wing thing interrupted my charge attack. Whoa, that was crazy. I didn't know he could do that. It's because I never, normally never let him live long enough to do it, to a try. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Oh, maybe not the best idea. Oh, I see. I actually have to hit her with my foot. Hit him with my foot. Whatever. Nice try, buddy. But you weren't counting on the fact that I can f do a flying kick attack, were you? Don't. Maybe I should just do this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Yeah, there's another one. I feel like the uh, designers in the inverted castle kind of ran out of some creativity there. Oh! Got a little ahead of myself. Okay, pal. Oh, come on. Okay, well, if I never have to fight another crow demon again in my life, it's, it'll be too soon. That's it. All that for nothing. Someone mentioned that uh, the kicking that Maria's doing here reminds them of Miriam and Bloodstained. There's a lot of sad feelings about Bloodstained, Bloodstained happening here in this uh, stream chat. But I am not sad, because I am... Oh, I'm saving here, and you know what was happening before? I did not uh, save with my gen file because I was hitting C to cancel, as opposed to A to confirm. That's what I get for using a platform that I'm not familiar with. Oh, Medusa. Suck on it. Let's 
So unfortunately, there's not a lot of interesting things to say about the inverted castle. It's kind of boring. If only I weren't here. If only I had bothered to save. Oh well. If I go down, I'll have to fight crow demons, right? Let's avoid those. Oh, that was bad. Wow. Thing Maria has triple jumps. That could have gotten really nasty. Go, go. Oh, pfft. I guess all the triple jumps in the world don't help if you uh, are being controlled by a clumsy goof like me. Go. Oh, there we go. All right, now we're out of that upper, or I guess lower in this case area, and on to something more interesting, hopefully. Um, Ramunel Gasu. I have no idea how I'm supposed to say that name. In the chat said I have some. Always thought I had some familiarity with the Saturn. I do have some familiarity with the Saturn, but I haven't used it in a long time. Uh, I had one a long time ago, and then I didn't have it, and now I have it again. So I'm learning. I'm relearning. And what I'm learning is that if you press C to save, you will not save. You will cancel. So that was, uh... Okay, now see that guy. That looks like Cthulhu. Another one. I guess that's the inverted castle approach. Just put lots of the same enemy over and over again. Oh, that was bad. Okay, well, I've destroyed Cthulhu twice, so the old gods had better look out. I don't want to fight that guy. But I may not have a choice. There we go. Wow, he doesn't take much damage, huh? see how he feels about ninja lasers. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. Oh yeah, how about that ninja laser to the face, buddy? Wow, that's a... Uh, that's a guy who can take a lot of ninja lasers. I wish I could remember how to do the uh, healing spell, but I can't. So Maria's probably going to die. Alright. I killed a big orange ghost. You can kind of see the, uh, the, the limitations of the Saturn in that one. The uh, guy I was fighting was like translucent on PlayStation. Oh, him again? Come on. Oh, that was bad. Seems like an unfortunate situation. Okay, let's just get on out of here. 
You know what? I'm going to cheat. I'm going to pause, and I'm going to see what the heck the uh, healing spell is. So down, down, back, back, up, back, up, up, forward, down, forward, down, and fire. So down, back. Okay. I think I can do this. All right. Wish me luck, folks. Oh, that was it? Come on. Get your act together, turtle. Well, on the plus side, at least I do have a rechargeable battery of life. That's good to know. Would have come in handy last time I played this. I feel like if someone were actually competent and knew what Maria's spells were, she would be an indestructible, unstoppable force of death. Because really, when you need to stop the uh, Satanic Lord of Darkness, who should you call but uh, a teenage girl? Okay, back to the clock tower. Something's happening. Hey, is this the final battle? I th think it is. I don't I don't think I'm ready for this. Wow, that that really goes for a while, huh? All right. So, let's mosey along, find a save point. Shoot some old knights with ninja lasers. Oh, what? Guard? Are you kidding me? Look at that. What a cheater. Oh, what a cheater. Oh, no, I don't want to fight these guys. Oh, this is bad. Oh, goodbye, Maria. You are dead now. You know, I guess maybe what I should have done was just go fight the final boss, because I probably would have stood up better against him than against those guys. That was very unfortunate. All right, let's see how far back that sets me. I'm thinking quite a ways. Oh, someone reminded me that there's a save point in the clock. I forgot about that. That was pathetic. Ah, very sad. Okay. Let's jump on in and see where we are. I think I'm back in the castle keep. Or Ulrox's lair, was that where it was? Something like that. Thank you, Positive Touch, for pressing S F to pay respects. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Hey, guess what, guy? I'm not going to fight you. That's right, I ran over to that crow demon just so I could specifically not fight him. I'm doing a good job of making use of all of Maria's tools. Like, I have this great holy water, and I'm not using it. I should have thrown that at the final guard. Keep going, little Maria. You'll make it to the top eventually. Listen to that noisy controller, man. That's... I guess it occurs to me that there is really no percentage in fighting Cthulhu there. Like, I could just scoot past him and not have to fight him. I'm not going to get anything for fighting him, there's no experience in this mode. So, yeah. Glad we could sort that out. Ha! 
Get the hell out of my face, buddy. Oh, look, there's a different route. Let's see what happens this way. Okay, here's the Colosseum. Hmm, the werewolf is much easier in this than it was in Mongo. or something, as opposed to just sitting there, but oh well. Okay, there we go. That's right, show some spirit. Oh, goodness. Wow, that's not going so well. I guess I shouldn't have uh, criticized those werewolves because once I uh, slipped up, I really slipped up and they were extremely deadly. How about that? Oh, it's this guy again. Nice transparency, buddy. What's the matter, cat got your alpha channels? doing a lot of damage, though. <laughs> There's some uh, very colorful descriptions of the sounds of the Saturn pad happening in the chat. Good. Another one. That's, uh, the epitome of great game design. Just keep throwing the same enemy at someone over and over again. Oh, it looks like I don't have enough magic to be able to pull off my super cool attack. Alright, buddy. Take that. Magic is recharged, so I can pull off my ninja laser. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Well, hopefully that's the last of them. Someone pointed out the fact that if you don't have enough magic, the uh, charge attack just dissipates. That is great. All right. Well, I think this uh, the stream is kind of starting to wind down. Um, I'm reaching. I've been streaming for an hour, and I'm kind of flagging in terms of energy. I'm seriously jet-lagged, so I don't think I'm going to stream too much longer. And man, I gotta say, the uh, this version's not actually that exciting to watch. It's like a slower, clunkier, weirder version of Sunday Night. You don't get all the cool different attacks and weapons that Alucard has access to. There's a lot of magic attacks, but you have to spend time just like sitting around waiting for your magic to recharge. Eh, it's... look at this. It's just the same recycled sprites over and over again. 
And your charge attack dissipates if you don't have enough magic. See, it's just problems all around. Meanwhile, Minotaur just like sits there, letting me throw fire at him. Come on, buddy. So there's the exit to the chapel. I know there's a save point somewhere. Whoa! Big skull guy. Alright, so I'm going to save here. And you know, I think I'm going to call it a day. So this 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 is it for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. For Sega Saturn, Maria Renard version. Uh, it's, like I said, a slower, clumsier, weirder version of Symphony of the Night. Uh, it makes some interesting changes, but I would not say that it makes any improvements whatsoever to the, the core game. And there is some novelty in playing as Maria, but it wears off pretty quickly. Like, eh, I don't know. I can see why uh, Koji Igarashi was pissed off at me for making him play this game. It is kind of like an, uh, a bastardization of his hard work. And I'm not really impressed with the uh, the Minotaur AI, let's, let's say. Nice try, pal. There you go, you're dead. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I have, as always, been Jeremy Parrish, and this has been Gentendo featuring Symphony Night for Saturn and um, Gibson's Gin, which is just okay. I don't think we're missing out here in America by not being able to buy it. Um, if you live in America and you are of majority age, please go vote today. Um, if not, then that's cool. Thanks for playing. Um, anyway, thanks for watching the stream, and I will be back maybe later this week, maybe Friday, um, whoa, with a uh, SNK 40th Anniversary Collection stream, show you some Crystallis, because you've never seen that game before. No, I'll try to like show off, um, what do you call it, Ikari Warriors or something, or Prehistoric Isle, or something weird. Um, also, there's going to be, man... This guy is actually kind of hard. Uh, if you look at Retronauts.com, there should be a f an article on the uh, 40th Anniversary Collection going up right now? Maybe an hour ago? I don't know. Sometime this afternoon. Uh, I don't have an objective perspective on SNK 40th Anniversary collect uh, Collection, but I think it's pretty cool. So go check that out, and keep an eye on Twitter for announcements of future streams. Uh, now that I've got this system working, I do intend to stream more regularly. Anyway, I'm going to let the werewolves take out Maria, because... I don't know. I'm done. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. I'll be back.